This video is about Moringa, and you can see what I have growing here in this area of the yard. I've got papaya here, and this is before the storm Irma rolled through. This is a Barbados cherry tree. This guy got blown over, and it now is actually twice the size of this, grown strong. The trunk is probably three times as thick as this, so it's really amazing how fast they respond after uh, a stressful event. Uh, but the Moringa are very small. You get them in seeds, and then you sprout them, and you then plant them in a container and then transplant it to the yard. So this is how it looks when you plant them. They're maybe a eh, foot tall. Here's where they start, little seed. This guy didn't sprout, didn't take. So you soak it in water 24 hours, and then you put them into a plastic container. This is the way I did it. And watered the uh, paper towel so it stayed moist, put the top on. And within a couple days, few days, it depends, uh, you sprout. So this is the biggest one you can see right here. And this was going, this part here is the, is going to be the trunk. And this will be the leaves, the branches. And this is, and over here as well, this is the root. So you plant them so a little bit of the trunk is showing and then they just grow. So this is what they look like sprouted. And these guys are ready to transplant. So this was the first one that I transplanted. It was about in April. This is May. And see, it didn't grow that much between April and May. I think it likes sustained temperatures uh, well above 70 to really grow. I forget what the exact numbers are. But I wanted to just see uh, if I took one out of the pots and planted it, how it would grow compared to the other. Because I've got about 25 plants at this point. I'm kind of experimenting and looking. And it is shocking how fast they grow. So they're supposed to grow about 15 feet in a season. Uh, and I'm in Florida, so we've got a long growing season. This particular one has grown more than that, although we had to deal with Hurricane Irma rolling through, so that was problematic. So this is what it looked like in August, and Irma rolled through in early September. So this little bucket is about six feet tall right here. So you can see this guy is close to 12 feet, and it grew a little bit longer before I hacked it back before Irma came through. What you can see here are sweet potatoes, which I harvested. So there are the sweet potatoes. And here you got some avocado trees and theoretically a coconut tree that might grow, but I'm not, probably not warm enough for that. So back to the moringa. This is after I hacked it. Remember I said I hacked it back to about four feet, maybe a little bit less. It was actually less, about three feet. So I hacked it back, hacked it back and uh, started to sprout new branches. And so this is what it looks like Took these pictures today, actually, which is what is today's date? Uh, November 14th, I think. There you can see where I hacked it back. And here are the sprouting branches, much larger. You can see how big they are now. And so this is what it looks like. This is, I didn't even get the top of it. It's now eight feet tall again. So it grew to about 12, 13 feet, hacked it back to about three, three and a half feet, and now it's eight feet <laughs> already which means this tree has grown 16 plus feet in this season alone. Remember, it, came, it started as a little little, a little a uh, seed earlier this year, little seed, and now we have uh, over 16 feet of growth. And so between sweet potatoes and moringa, if you wanted to, it's easy to survive on those two calorie sources. I mean, the, those foods are just absolutely amazing. Highly anti-inflammatory, so that it fits nicely into the deflame diet. So if you like this video, you can follow more information at these various uh, social media sites. If you want to score the book, you can get through deflame.com in the book section. And I'll take you off to Amazon if you want to buy one copy. If you want to buy multiples, you can buy them right at deflame.com.